we are trying to build success. And we can think about success in lots of different ways, and people have different stories around what success is. But I've started to think a bit more about telling a positive story about the future in the context of selling our vision, my vision, a moral vision of what success in this uncertain, changing world really looks like. If I look at the brochure of any elite private school in this country, I don't see pictures of kids taking tests. I see pictures of kids being educated as a whole person, um, doing sport and the arts and doing extraordinary things and making stuff and the kind of things that we kind of, all of us agree we want to see but are being frozen out of our state maintained schools because of things like the EBAC. There are some things that we should just agree are really valid for politicians and some which are not. One of the bravest things that the Blair government did in 97, that I remain proud to be a minister in, was the independence of the Bank of England in 1997, where they said, we're going to give away political control over a big swathe of the, of our, of the economy. Um, I think we could do the same thing with education. We could say there's a bunch of things on curriculum and we can appoint some experts uh, to help us uh, advise us on that. There's a, there's a whole bunch of things that politicians interfere with and they don't have the expertise and they shouldn't allow them to be political footballs. But we should have politicians who fund schools properly, who equip them properly in, in buildings and with equipment and staff them properly. And if politicians just worried about those three things and left everything else to the profession and trusted the profession, we'd have a much better place. Thank you all very much. Yeah.